This is the sound check. Саш, проверь, пожалуйста, по звуку как. The producer said, we really like your work, it's okay. great, we'd like to, you know, ask you again next time and stuff. <laughs> But you're sort of, like, the people are sort of looking at your Instagram, yeah, you don't yeah. have enough Instagram, LA, you know, followers. Yeah, LA is and they're really sort of... Uh, this this thing, but yeah. for example, I was in Berlin, uh, I met, like, my friend, who I, who I was following him for five years on Instagram, he's, uh -huh. like, a very nice guy, and he has just, like, 20,000 followers, and uh -huh. he, he does the performances, okay? Yeah. So he was, like, the face of John Galliano new collection of... Uh, Yeah. like Mason Margiela, he, uh, John Galliano works for Mason Margiela, mm -hmm. so he has just like 20,000 followers and he was the inspiration for the whole new collection and I was like how did they find you and he said it's not about the followers, it's about the thing you do, Yeah, absolutely. it's very important. No, absolutely, of course, like, like pretty much everyone knows that as well, that you can't judge the quality of the art yeah. by the amount of followers of the artist, but yeah. uh, But so, still, it helps with promotion and all that yes, sort of stuff. Yes, yes, and that's like and it's what, fun as well. <laughs> yes, and you get so much free stuff when you're like super famous on Instagram. Uh, yeah, My friends, yeah, of they get so much. Oh yeah. Hey guys, this is Kristen Vogue Diary, and here's me with Julia's horse house, and we're doing the interview. I'm really excited to ask you a few questions. So my name is uh, Julius Horsthaus, indeed. I'm um, right. Yeah, you're. Yeah, you, you got that right. Um, I'm from Amsterdam, and I'm a fractal artist, um, which means that I create through the use of fractals, which are these like mathematical equations. I try to sort of create entire worlds that like people can experience in in various different ways. So I started out, um, I like. I didn't always want to be a fractal artist because when I was like younger, I didn't know even what fractals were. Um, I wanted to be a filmmaker. I wanted to make m movies, films, and uh, in order to do that, to make like interesting, like just interesting concepts, like science fiction sort of things, you need like huge budgets, right? And um, that's really not always possible. So. I started looking into um, computer graphics, like uh, CG, you know, th like 3D animation sort of things, which is makes it a little bit like more accessible. Mm -hmm. And then I found out about fractals, and I was like, yeah, this is great because now I can sort of create all these worlds. It was like uh, six years ago. I I had already some experience with the uh, computer graphics, but I just started downloading the the, the program called Mandelbulb 3D, which is like fractal software. Mm -hmm. Um, and I just started playing around with it and I was like, wow, this stuff can really do very interesting things. Yeah, that's still the same software, Mandelbulb 3D, that's for free. People can download it from the internet if they want. Uh, still the same software as where I started six years ago, yeah. So, like, fractals are a little bit out of this world. Um, so, the whole, the whole design process is really quite different than Um, than it is when you're um, when you're um, uh, designing. You know, you start with an idea, you start with a sketch, and then you sort of flesh that out. With fractals, these worlds they don't really exist in my mind. They exist in a mathematical reality in a way. So it's not like uh, you're thinking about something and then you create this. You start um, doing this in the program. Yeah. And then. Yeah, that's exactly right. I, I often compare it with. Uh, with um, uh, like a cameraman for National Geographic, you know? He, he just, he, he, he takes his camera and he goes out into the wilderness and he doesn't know what he's gonna find. And then he thinks he might be, he's, he's, you know, he's looking for a specific forest and then suddenly there's a beautiful mountain and he sort of captures that mountain. And when you work with fractals, it, it's really very much the same sort of process. You don't know in advance what you're gonna find. You sort of, you, you start with some formulas and you sort of go explore those formulas and then you suddenly see shapes that no one's ever seen before and I'm like wow this is really cool and then but you start like rendering those shapes yes but sometimes uh, when I when I saw your works I saw the whole stories in these works like it's not just fractals like sometimes you make more than like uh, a fractal art it's like a building or something yeah so they often like this the thing with fractals is they often look a little bit like something and then so when it's when you have a fractal that looks a little bit like a building then I will use some like techniques of coloring and texturing and lighting to make it look more like a building. 
So just to so so that it doesn't get too abstract, mm -hmm. so people can sort of understand a little bit, like oh yeah, this is like really like um, this is like a building, but it's not a building, you know. There, there is one exception. Maybe there, there, there is one film where I took some real, um, real captured um, landscapes and sort of tried to merge them with fractals. So maybe you've seen those, and then it's not fractal. But like 98% of everything that is, is is definitely pure fractal. And you asked about um, that you try to tell some sort of story with it. That's also sort of the job of the fractal artist. It's not just to show the fractals, but just like you know, just like a, like a Planet Earth from BBC, you know. They try to tell a story with these sort of nature photography things and you sort of try to tell, try to create a narrative inside these fractals, yeah. It's great, this is the second time I'm here in, uh, in Moscow and um, I'm having a great time like working together with, uh, with, with a lot of Russians. Um, I think the connection came because of um, Android Jones. I think he saw my work somewhere online and he was working with Samskara at the moment. Uh, or he was working on the Samskara film, um, which was created, well, he was created in Thailand, but with, with the people here from, uh, from this exhibition. Um, and so that's, I think he, he sort of brought my work under the attention of, uh, and then they, just liked it, I think, and they, and they called me. He said, "Hey, do you want to do you want to you want to exhibit here?" And I was like, "Yeah, yeah hell." <laughs> um, I have uh, I work a lot in the U.S. I'm a lot in. Uh, I've done an exhibition for Art Tech House, which is a really great digital uh, art gallery. Uh, it was in Washington D.C. They just opened a new location in uh, New York City. Um, I worked um, on Coachella Festival that oh. was in, uh, in California. What uh, did you do for Coachella? It, we had a dome. There was a, the, there was a big dome mm -hmm. and they made a, or we made a, a very short film. Like a, it was like a two minute film, like a really like fast fly through all these spaces. And I worked with a couple of artists like Beeple. Like Beeple made, um, he's, a, he's a digital artist. He made some amazing um, scenery and I made some fractals. And this was all sort of um, mm -hmm. uh, edited together to make this very, very psychedelic, uh, great, uh, yeah, roller coaster experience. I have a channel. How to say that? And yeah, said, I'm yeah, more like said, an artist, you know. Yeah, I said, yeah. I mean, I, I saw your, and I saw your yeah, stuff. So of you course, I was you. like, oh yeah, I see your stuff. And I, they maybe thought you. thought that I'm kind of like a YouTube blogger. Are you filming us? Yeah, I'm trying to make like all my content very um, like informative every video i create i want uh, this video to be um, like actual like how to say that like uh, people can watch this video in five years you know and mm -hmm. it's still cool yeah you know yeah uh, and these bloggers they create this content which is not even funny like in one week you know and yeah exactly this is no, I know. like fast I'm, food I, content i know yeah I, I'm, I'm pretty aware and but you do yeah. have a lot of followers on instagram then i have three hundred thousand, yeah. but for russia it's not much is that not much my french has seven million <laughs> and i have like all my friends they have two million seven I, million and i have no idea how you guys do that I'm in Russia, it's very easy. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm slowly like you add a couple of followers per day. Uh, but uh, uh, yeah. you're like not an Instagram follower, uh, bl blogger. You know, you're like yeah. creating your art. Yeah, exactly. And so you don't get the, the benefit of people promoting each other and that you know, sort of like stuff. even if uh, we compare you to the people who also create art yeah. but have more followers, some of them they just do it for Instagram to get the yeah, followers. Yeah, just they're just and Instagram. And you do another yeah. pro kind of projects. Yeah, for me also Instagram isn't my isn't the best way to view my art because it's yeah. going to be immersive. Yeah. And also, I got quite late on the on the on the boat. Yeah. I mean, integrating art in, like my art, of course, is visual. So with music, it would just be like a musical collaboration, which is one of the most you know amazing things that you can do because these fractals for me are already very musical. Mm -hmm. um, so working with musicians uh, can go two ways. Either there is a musician who has made a piece and he wants a, a music video for that and, he, he, and they call me so I create the fractal to go on the music or uh, I create a, a, a fractal like for instance the, the film I'm showing here at the, at the exhibition called Fractal Time 
um, I first made the, the, whole, the whole film and then it was scored, so the music was made after by um, uh, composer David Levy, which, is, uh, which I'm really happy with because he did a great job on, uh, on getting that uh, in there, yeah. Um, it's very hard, I think, to, to define your own style. Um, there is a couple of things, of course, that I do, like with every sort of like steps that I go through with every fractal. Um, there are other fractal artists out there. I, I always um, do a post-processing on my on my fractal artwork. So when I render a fractal, it usually it renders straight from the software Mandelbulb 3D, but I never show it directly. I always use techniques that we also use in film to do um, uh, to sort of bring out a more cinematic uh, look so to make it look like it's not computer generated but like it's um, like it is filmed with a real camera with a real lens because then it looks more grounded so I think I use a lot of those techniques and maybe that's what m sort of makes my work recognizable yeah and you have like special color segment I guess because all your colors like, are pretty dark yeah. yeah, yeah. I guess I don't like this, the the super bright color psychedelic uh, uh, palette. For me, it's interesting because the the fractals themselves are already kind of like very psychedelic and very out there. So I want to bring the color palette a little bit to something that we know. Maybe it's a little dark, but at least to something to, that looks more like a like it would be photographed or something like that. Yeah. If you're interested in, in, in fractal art and, and, and you're just starting, uh, it, it's not going to be easy, that, that's one thing. So the, the easiest way to get started is just to download Mandelbulb 3D. If you have a reasonably fast computer, you can run it, it's for free. Mm -hmm. It's very light software, but rendering fractals is very, um, is very taxing on your CPU, so that's, that just takes a very long time. Mm -hmm. but Getting the sort of the hang of the software is a little bit tricky, but there are tutorials out there. If you just Google, you know, tutorial Mandelbulb 3D, you will find a lot. There is a great Facebook group out there called uh, Mandelbulb Maniacs, where people are willing to help and explain to new people uh, what you can do. Um, and yeah, so that's where I started six years ago. Of course, I had a, a little bit. I knew a little bit about filmmaking and about computer graphics already. But um, there's lots of people who don't and who have different backgrounds in art or, or no backgrounds at all. And they can make great artworks with, uh, with Mandelbulb 3, with fractals, yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. We really enjoyed the interview. And I hope if you have some other questions, just let us know, comment below and subscribe to Julius. Thank you. Thank you.